Hello Space Cat, I'm Jules, an illustrator living on an island off the south coast of England. I spend my mornings in my cosy studio and the afternoons baking sourdough and yummy cakes at home and hanging out with my furry friends. Of course, tea from a proper pot is essential, so if that sounds like your kind of thing, you grab a cup and I'll pour. You might know that there are several strands to my artist business and several strands to me keeping my head above water as an illustrator. It's the same for most artists. We just can't sit around and paint all day, more's the pity. Over the first bit of autumn, I've been thinking about running my business more effectively. I have Crohn's disease, a condition of the gut where it's hard to absorb nutrients, which can flare up and make me housebound, but most days it's just a bit annoying. I've been struggling with Crohn's fatigue for so long now, but in the last year it's certainly ramped up a bit and I find that my days are a lot shorter because of it. I'm left with little choice but to prioritise what works really well and what I love doing. Here are the things that I currently work on. Picture books and other art. YouTube, of course. Tutorial courses. Email marketing. And author visits to schools and libraries. There are a couple of other things that I've tried extensively in the past. One was Etsy and the other one was Patreon, but I'm currently not doing either of those. More about that in a moment. Most days I spend the mornings in my studio and then go home to sleep for an hour before doing the things that I need to do at home with my son and my husband who has been receiving treatment for blood cancer this year. Let me tell you, it's not much fun having that kind of treatment, but we continue to have a sunny outlook and enjoy our days. And I only mention this really because I think that's what's responsible for my extra fatigue. I've decided to focus on the things that I love doing, illustrating and some author visits. So filming for YouTube will continue because I enjoy sharing my processes and artwork with you lovely cats. And I will also continue doing author visits and some consultancy work for folks trying to get their picture book published or illustrated. I have some other ideas for just single, projects that are quite confined but also my secret library project which is well and truly underway and very exciting. So that leads me on to the thing. One thing I have decided to give up is email marketing. I run my website through Wix and I spend extra on being able to email using my website address but I find weeks and weeks can go by and I think, oh crikey, I haven't emailed for a while, I better get on and do that, and then it just becomes a big headache and a big spoon. If you're familiar with the fatigue community, then you'll know all about spoons. I'll just do a quick explainer. It's when you, if you imagine each one of your tasks is a spoon, I always think of them as wooden spoons, you can only hold so many in your hands before you drop something. I can usually hold about three wooden spoons in my hand before I start to get a bit foggy and overwhelmed. So that leads me on to the other thing that I've decided to pair back next year and that is my courses, my tutorial courses. Now if you have bought one from me then I am making the whole thing downloadable you can download the PDFs and the videos so between now and when I finally leave the platform at the end of this year 2024 you can download any of that content so then you'll have it forever previously you could access the videos from the platform only so yes if you have a course and want to make sure you can access it after the end of 2024, you will need to download it. And to that end, I am making all of my courses half price. So if you've ummed and ahed about getting one in the past, then now is the best time to do it. You'll be able to download the whole thing so long as you do it before the end of 2024. 
I am a bit sad to have to do this because those courses took such a lot of hard work to put together but I know I really don't have the energy to keep making sure that it's updated and relevant to you now and also to do the email marketing that it deserves. That is always the hardest thing to do. Market in a way that is useful to people but not pushy. Marketing my own work has never been my strong point and I think a lot of fellow artists feel that way too. But with one door closing, another one may well open. I am considering reopening my Patreon, perhaps next spring. I mean, it just feels to me like a much easier way to have a community of people that are together and that you get something of benefit and I get some feedback directly from you as to what you want. It will certainly be something very simple, very low cost, but just something that perhaps I can keep control of a bit more rather than worrying about having to produce a massive piece of work. If you are working as an artist or illustrator, please let others know in the comments what has worked best for you. That way we can all help each other. Yay! I'm off to Pamela Pumpkin. I will see you next week. No, 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 no.